This is part six of Cody breaking her silence. Again, no hate to anybody involved. This is a screenshot of one of the many messages that Cody has on IG. So that text message was sent to this bunny who is Cody's best friend. And it reads, wish you all the best. You won't hear either of your names leave my mouth ever again in reference to Bunny and Cody. Several months later, Kelsey is on the Dumb Blonde podcast where Kelsey name drops Cody multiple times and goes on about her. Also, this is Bunny with an IE. Also, people have been coming after Bunny with an IE, even though Cody has emphasized, please don't send hate to anybody involved. But Bunny with an IE goes on to say that Kelsey only talked about that situation for maybe five minutes. I re-listened to the podcast and from 39 minutes and 16 seconds to one hour and four minutes, Kelsey is talking about Cody, which is actually almost 30 minutes. Cody begins to clarify some of the things that Kelsey stated on the podcast. Number one, Kelsey's speaking about the alleged situation regarding Cody and her ex-best friend and the husband and all that drama. Cody says it was not for her to speak on it and it happened so many years before TikTok. Kelsey also said that Cody had lied about trying to get sober. Here is Cody's tattoo of her sobriety date. At one point, Cody wanted to eliminate alcohol from her life. Not because it was becoming addictive, she just wanted to get rid of it. But that's besides the point. The point is that she did think sobriety was the answer and she got a tattoo, so it wasn't fake. Anyways, also trigger warning for DV. Kelsey mentioned on the podcast that Cody had allegedly lied about her DV past to get closer to Kelsey. So Cody has posted a bunch of text messages to her IG highlight of her ex, not her baby daddy ex-husband, Brian, but the person she dated after him. I don't think I need to share all the text messages, but just believe the person when they say they have gone through DV. Kelsey also mentions a story about how allegedly Tish told Kelsey that Cody was going to be jealous if Kelsey hit a million before she did. This is to IG, a message from Tish, where the opposite is said. And lastly for now, Kelsey blames Cody for losing one of her very good friends. Cody shares this to Instagram and states that any falling out that Kelsey had with her friend was not due to her.